to talk a little hitting. Now, Mark McGuire, the new hitting instructor of the St. Louis Cardinals, we're going to talk about maybe some of the things he's possibly doing. Here's a good look at Mark as he entered into camp the other day and started working with some of the youngsters. Sean, what do you think he's talking hey, about? If I'm a ball player in the Cardinals right now, I'm fired up to hear what he has to say. I think, right, I think the things that made Mark McGuire so good, especially towards the end of his career, was his base. I think right here he's talking about the rotation on the base, your hands down short to the ball. And you, you, you look back at Mark McGuire, at what he was, uh, when he was, especially in his early years with the A's, he was a two-hand hitter, power hitter, obviously. So that's what you mean by Falling two. back, you know, he was two hands on the on the bat, and when he'd be through the ball, he was two hands again to almost fall back on his back on his on his back leg. Right. But as he evolved over the years, you started to see Mark McGuire being s shorter to the ball with a, like what he looked like he was talking right there, rotation of his base, shorter to the ball, which rotates the bottom half, right, and sets his hands up real short down to the ball, and he was so through the ball, everything he did, it almost felt like his bat. Just just kept going, 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 going. And what he did was he had that one arm release. He started taking his top hand off the bat, which allowed him to really get through the ball and have a lot of, uh, have his bat in the zone a long time. You know what? I, I remember having a, a double T. Remember that double T yeah, where yeah, they'd have yeah. a ball here and another ball there, and you'd have to hit both the baseballs. Yep. Right now, take me through a drill that, that you feel like he might have done when he was a player. Well, I think I'm going to stand in my normal position, and, right. and Sean's going to show you how this drill works. Well, what, what we're doing here is we're going to have you just hit a couple, couple regular so they're gonna set you up he's gonna right. he just set you up a couple regular swings right off the tee this is where the ball would be obviously if you're trying to uh, hit a ball that's right down the middle you're trying to right, just go back out the middle now what he's gonna do and what he did when he was playing of learning how to be short to the ball and through the ball is you take your tee and you put it out in front of the plate a little a, a, a lot as a matter of fact you exaggerate your point and I you're, stay right where I'm you at stay exactly where you're at. yes you do oh, you stay boy. exactly where let's see if you can do it Harold but I gotta what, release that and, you, and, you, and, you really, and release that top end. You really want to work on st staying through the ball, staying in the zone. There you go. Stay, I'll make you a hitter after all, Harold. I'm telling you, You'd man. still be playing if I was your coach. I'm yeah. telling and you. And you want to really, when you're hitting this ball, you want to really try and ex keep extending through this tee. All you right. want to keep extending through up the middle. That's what you want to do. Oh, yeah, that exactly. ball's out of here. There you go. Not Woo! bad. Let's take one more, right, Harold. One more. But oh, exactly that sounded it. good. And that's the, that, that's the thing. That I'm telling you what, if I'm a young hitter right now or if I'm Matt Hawley or Albert Pujols, I can't wait to get in the spring train right now and talk to Mark McGuire about, hey, tell me what made you such a great hitter. Because talk about a hitter that evolved over the years and made himself one of the best hitters around. Mark McGuire did that. And you can see the difference in his swing over those 15 years. Well, what, what I saw there is it's taking the plan of the bat and staying in the zone longer. If you look at any great hitter, right. it's staying in the zone as long as you possibly can. That makes you a great hitter. Yep. All right, that's it from here.